happens when you are gifted your grandmother's recipe book? Well, you start baking and then you open your own bake shop. And that is what Laisha has done here at the Red Velvet Bakery. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming. I like this. So let's talk about your grandmother's recipe book. How'd you get the recipe book? <laughs> well, you know, I am her granddaughter, so <laughs> she did share with me her recipes, and she actually wanted me to learn so that it can continue on in the family because she was she's the baker of the family. No one else baked. So it was really important for somebody to get in there and learn. Yeah, and so these recipes are amazing because you have turned them into some amazing creations here that I you have. wouldn't even think about having and so this is amazing grandma was already thinking about these right and now you brought them more to the yes. public with the new bakery so how's this it has been wonderful our grand opening was about a week ago um the community was very outpouring and very excited to have a bakery in this location yeah and as being a new owner you have to do a lot of things yourself yes like the beautiful wall behind us this is something yes. very proud of right very proud of <laughs> me and my sister did this creation uh it took us about three days one flower at a time lots of trips to michael's and the dollar tree <laughs> yeah and as we also look around you have an artist here too because this is going to mm -hmm. become like a little a uh, gallery for it is. local artists here in Arizona. Yes, and we're right now her name is Zybrina. She's a local public artist here. She has some of her artwork in, I believe, in the Onyx Museum downtown Phoenix. And so I gave her the floor, and these are all of her artwork. I love it. Okay, let's get to the red velvet oh, cupcakes here and yes. a lot more you do here. Here we have a few up here that you do. How many different flavors are you looking to do? Oh, uh, right now I have listed on the menu probably about over 40 flavors. And oh, I can what? Do, 40? Yes. Oh my gosh. And I can do and I can do more, I'm sure. But it's, it's amazing what you can do to a cupcake. Oh, so, okay, let's just go through a couple of those flavors there. Because <laughs> okay. I'm like literally <laughs> shocked right now. Because you only hear of like, you know, maybe yeah. four really, you know, you got yeah. your chocolate, you got your vanilla, you have your red velvet. And then you might have like hmm. a birthday cake in what there. What about bubble gum? Bubble gum. And cotton candy. Wow, what else? Everything but the kitchen sink. What is everything? What's, what's <laughs> everything in the kitchen sink? Whatever you can think of. But <laughs> what's ever in the pantry? I mean, I'm talking like a chocolate bar, some maybe chocolate chips, some pretzels, a potato chip. Oh my Caramel goodness. sauce, drizzle, you know, whatever. And that's what Grandma whatever was in doing. Your she was just finding different things to, of course, making sure that you guys had some great desserts. Grandmother was very traditional. We had German chocolate, chocolate, lemon, and red velvet. And so the the rest of the flavors was all on me. Just oh, trying to be creative. There you go. Trying to put something out there that other bakeries do not have. I mean, lots of bakeries sell cupcakes, but do what kind of cupcakes do they have? Yeah, I like that. And I like how you said too that there's those basic ones, but red velvet's been one that everyone's been talking yes. about. But everyone thinks red velvet is just pretty much a chocolate cake chocolate with, with this red dye in it. Yes, that's, and that's not, not true. That is not the case. It is a vanilla chocolate cake. So there it is, and mm -hmm. so it's made with a lot of different levels. And everyone makes it a little different there. Yes. So do you, can you give away any little secrets to making yours or no? Butter, yeah. the only thing I would say is buttermilk, because I did write a recipe book last fall that I published, and it can be found on Amazon.com right. for $19.99. So you'll see, uh, so you'll have lots of recipes in there, about 30. Oh, wow. Uh, and so, but uh, yeah, the secret is buttermilk, and I say that in the book. I like, and the secret is to come to the bakery, which is yes. really cool. All right, you have a signature drink. Uh, yeah, it is the uh, red velvet cheesecake. So Ooh. it's cheesecake ice cream. And then on top of that, you get a strawberry cheesecake topped with a red velvet cupcake. Ooh, I like it. All right, this looks like a masterpiece. Yes. I really don't mess up. Okay, so what do I take this Just off? Just lift the cheesecake and okay. put that maybe to the side right. to help you eat it. Easy yeah. there. Come Be careful, on. it's a very delicate cake. I know, that's why I don't want, oh, see, it <laughs> broke apart already. So there you go. Okay. So put that right there, right? Yep. And this off to the side. Yep. And so the object is to get the straw yep. in there. Yep, eat and sip. All right, let me see. So what do I do first? Do I sip and eat or eat I would, and sip? I would eat and sip. Okay, eat a little bit of cheesecake. Yep. Okay. Mmm. 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 You should taste the cheesecake crumbles in that too. And the graham cracker in that shake. Oh my goodness, I love it. Where can people find more information about you? At redvelvetrecipes.com. There it is. All right, you gotta check it out.